All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this my NBA career. And before we hop into our Christmas Day game against the Wizards, there are going to be some moves to be made. We are currently in December, a week before Christmas Day, and this is the deadline for players to be able to get traded. The Bucks are nine and nineteen. This is going to be their back-to-back -back losing season, and they don't have their picks. So as you know, this is my league. I make trades for most teams. If a team is not doing well and they have a superstar, they're getting traded. Since Giannis is also on the last year of his deal, I'm going to trade Giannis. I'm going to trade Giannis. He's 30 years old. The Bucks have no direction right now. They have no draft picks, no young players, no cap room. But right now, the only superstar player that will be traded will be Giannis. And I have two teams in mind. Those two teams are the New York Knicks who acquired Bradley Beal last season. They're currently at the 8th seed. And the new up-and-coming San Antonio Spurs sitting at the 4th seed. With their addition of Anthony Davis, they have plenty of draft capital, plenty of young players to entice the Bucks to make that move. This deal will center around RJ Barrett, probably Quentin Grimes. A few other players and a crap ton of draft capital. So we're going to see if we can make this trade somewhat realistic and have a new juggernaut in the Eastern Conference. All right, so the Knicks did not have enough cap space to get a trade done. So this is what this trade is going to consist of. I'm going to do a second trade to send the Bucks more first round picks. There's only getting two first round picks in this trade. I'm going to give them another extra two or three because it's Giannis we're talking about here. So the Bucks are going to send Giannis... Rui Hachimura and Bobby Portis over to the Spurs for Isaiah Coy um, Collier. I don't know his name. I don't know how to say his last name. A rookie out of USC point guard. They're going to send Miles Bridges to make the salary work. A Bulls top 10 protected first round pick for this year. Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sohan, a rookie from 2022, and an Atlanta unprotected pick. This trade is going to go through. And I'm going to add a few more um, first round picks and we will get that trade done. And now the Bucks, after I trade Drew Holiday, because these are probably not going to stay, are set up for the future with all these first round picks now. They don't own theirs this year, but I mean, they now have three first round picks. All uh, The Bulls is top 10 protected, so they probably won't get it. But the Hawks and Spurs would be late first round picks, but at least they have a start on their rebuild now they added miles bridges they have Keldon johnson now uh jeremy sohan to jumpstart their rebuild and i'm gonna find a trade partner for holiday i think this is a solid trade the timberwolves are gonna get a solid starting point guard that can play defense and they get off the gobert contract and the bucks get a a center because they really don't even have one I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this trade because right now spencer dinwiddie is their point guard a 2029 first round pick and they actually, yep, they agreed to it. So this is the Bucks' most likely new starting lineup. And if we go over to the Spurs, their new starting lineup, I'm going to probably have to adjust it. It's going to consist of Armen Thompson, Malachi Bronham, Matisse Thybul with a front court of Giannis and Anthony Davis. And they still have Greg Popovich as their head coach, bro. Wow, what a unit was just built here in San Antonio. The new powerhouse, probably the new title favorites. And lastly, the Knicks are in dire need of a starting center. They haven't since last year, and they're on the brink of uh, out of the play-in. So we are going to send Jericho Sims, Jackson Hayes, and four second-round picks over to the Raptors for Yaka Pirtle. The Raptors have James Wiseman. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Add exception, and that is accepted. And now the Knicks have a new starting center Without further ado, I'm going to adjust the uh, rotations for these other teams. And we'll be going up against the worst team, the 4-24 Wizards, on Christmas Day. Let's see if they can give us some sort of a fight. Oh, yeah, of course. I forgot to put in the stats. There they are. There are all the stats, except we did get the win, 59 points, heading a Game 2 Christmas Day against the Wizards. And then we'll actually have some sort of competition. These first two games are gimmies. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, too. Uh, our front office decided it was a good idea to trade Kenrich Williams. They traded Kenrich Williams for Mason Plumley. So next episode, we will be trading for a small forward. It will be our only trade of the season because we wasted two of those in free agency. So yeah, it will either be a small forward or a shooting guard, and I'll slide myself over to small forward. But Christmas Day 
Uh, I was about to say, no custom scoreboard. Christmas Day against the 5 and 28 Wizards. I don't know who set up this Christmas Day game. It should have been Heat Hornets. Oh, wow. Kispert starting off on fire. It should have been Heat Hornets rematch of the conference finals, but it wasn't. It's fine. Schedule makers in their bag with this one. But yeah, next episode, we will be getting a trade. I don't know why LaMelo Ball is moving in slow motion there. So yeah, Max Struess is going to have to um, start. Uh, Jeremy Grant started off solid. Nope, he got blocked by Jay Sean Tate. Give me that. That's a yoink. That's a yoink. I don't know why it had me pull up for a jumper, but Jeremy Grant's got my back. Oh my god, he got blocked again. Down court. Down court, Jeremy Grant. Pass it to me. We got to go on some sort of run because we are getting embarrassed right now by this five-win Wizards team. This is a trap game if I've ever seen one. Give me that. That's another yoink. Cedric Lewis already with three steals in the game. Only six points. But he is picking everyone's pocket. All right, getting subbed out for the first time in this game. Only up by six, surprisingly. Not what I expected going into this game. And we're down by one. I will take a competitive game. I don't care who it's against. If it's competitive, I will take it. The sliders are supporting this. Uh, Lamelo, bro, I don't support you, though, uh, offensively, because you take dumb shots. And I will support Jeremy Grant this season. Don't make me regret that. Oh, Max Struess. The Struess is not loose. We have not loosened the Struess. All right, because he is breaking shots. He has been nothing but a house builder since we have signed him here. Jay Sean Tate in the corner. It's good. It's the Wizards. Down. He just threw the ball at him. Why'd you do that, Max? You're the one playing like, ah, you ain't got to throw the ball, DeAndre. That's one. That's the second best player right there. Yeah, I said it. He's, he's better than LaMelo this season. LaMelo's just been not good offensively. He has not been good at all. But this man right here, DeAndre Ayton, is not giving... Why is it every time I try and compliment my teammates, they do that? <coughs> oh, Grant with the steal. I'm apparently not fast enough. Amazing to me, huh? Ooh, you ain't... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God, it's too clean. It's Cedric is too nice with it. Yo, that's another yoink. That's another yoink. LaMelo Ball, throw it down. I'm glad he actually ran with me there, because usually they don't run with me. All right, I'm getting subbed out here. Only up by two, as the Wizards just knocked down a three. Let's see what our bench can do here. We're down by five to the worst team in the league. Who would have saw that one coming? Give me that. That's a yoink. How do I not get the ball there? There are two Hornets players there. And neither of us get the ball. Explain that to me. Explain it to me, because I would love to know the whatever, the coding behind that, and why 2K does it like that. I'm going to sub that. We're down by one. Our bench has been useless, uh, probably because we don't have Kenrich Williams anymore. And we're down by three. Every time I come out of the game, we go down. I have a one-point lead now. Max Struess is so... They did this man so dirty with his jump shot. It's so slow. So dirty. And LaMelo apparently doesn't have the... Uh, so, Do you see what I'm talking about? Why are they both coming to this side of the court? I'm on that side of the court. Why are both Aiden and LaMelo going to that same side? It doesn't make sense. Yep, of course. But if, but if, that, if that were my teammates and I knocked that ball loose... Both my team. It, I was in that same situation, basically, where LaMelo and I couldn't grab the ball. But for the AI, they can grab it. It doesn't make sense to me. It really, it really doesn't. Blocked. But he gets the rebound. I get switched on to... For what reason was I switched on to Jay Sean Tate? For what reason? Why couldn't... Why could whoever was guarding him couldn't stay guarding him? Huh? Is that... LaMelo, I'm so sick and tired of you, bro. I, I, I hate playing with you sometimes. I really do. Aiden, you, you can't... You don't know how to do a simple pick and roll. Oh my god, bro. This is insane. How about get out of the paint? Ever think about that? Not having two guys in the paint? Because maybe that would help. Oh my lord. Maybe if we didn't run two centers that can't shoot. I'm done trying to create for my teammates. I'm done. I'm going full offensive mode. I'm done trying to create for my teammates because they don't do anything with it. I don't get fouled there. I don't get fouled there. That's fantastic. That ain't going in. Hell no. Down court. All the way down court. I got all the speed in the world. Jay Sean Tate cannot keep up with me. He somehow almost did. We extend the lead to eight. Oh, I got a steal somehow. All right. 
Lamelo, up to me. You took too long to pass it, but it don't matter. That was a nasty dunk. And we are on an insane run right now. And it's looking like we're going to take full momentum and end up winning this game after trailing for basically the entirety of it. That's usually what happens when you have a good team like us and then a bad team uh, like the Wizards where, like, they can have the lead most of the game, but the inexperience and just, you know, not being good. It happens all the time in the NBA where you see a bad team leading the entire game, but come the fourth quarter, they just fully collapse. Yeah, we went on a huge run forced four or five straight turnovers that led to um buckets for cedric lewis and that is going to basically i thought that was another one bro oh my god another block oh my god what is happening bro we are just on it right now defensively but yeah that is going to end up being it for this game let's see if they can uh score on this possession uh switch in good switch in the cpu did something good great switch in i'm down the court that's an easy. I'm going up. I've been going up for layups, bro. That's it. That's game. We're going to take care of the Wizards after a little bit of a scare. These Sons of Guns really double teamed me last second to avoid me getting 50. Well, it's not going to work, jackasses. I'm getting 50. I don't know if we're going to show the clip, but I literally have the ball at the top of the key. Like, there was like 20 seconds left or something, and they doubled me. And Brandon Ball's hit an open three. I got 50 anyways. You ain't stopping it. I can't believe they just did that. They really just double teed me just so I couldn't get 50 and I ended up getting anyways. Anyways, that's going to be it. That's going to be a 21-point victory over the Wizards. We outscored them like 33 to like 10 or something like that and something crazy like that in the fourth quarter. It was 13 to 37. We outscored them in the fourth quarter after they led practically the entire game. Honestly, they led. Uh, but final box score, Cedric with another 50 piece. He had five steals in this game, 10 assists. 17 to 24, not great from three. Another 14 for 14 free throw game. Aiton with another match. He's going to be an all-star this year. Yeah, 100% he deserves to be an all-star. If you, these are all-star numbers, baby. 19, 12, a block, 58% from the field, 40% from three, 80% from the free throw line. He's taking threes. This is, Aiton's an all-star. I don't care. He better be an all-star. Lamelo Ball. This is basically what he's become with me on the team. Just a 12 and like 14 assist type guy. He's not scoring much this season, which honestly doesn't really need to with Aiden and I. Uh, Brandon Boston gave us 9 off the bench. Jeremy Grant gave us 11 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals. I'll take that. You don't need to score all the time. Uh, Tyus Jones, 7 points off the bench. Shot terrible. He's basically Terry Rozier. Uh, uh, Richards, 9 rebounds, 2 blocks. For the Wizards, no one shot good besides Avita and uh, Tate. Uh, DeSumo had 20 points and 5 turnovers, one of everything, and shot terrible. Uh, so I did my job on him. Uh, Vita had 18 points, 2 steals, 2 blocks. He played fantastic. Uh, Tate had 12. Uh, Highland had a pretty crap game. Hartenstein played pretty solid. And, uh, Bryce Bo, I think is how you say his name, uh, he had 10 points. Anyways, that's gonna be for me. Let me know what you think about the trades down in the comments below. That's it for me. GG.